Welcome back to Eco. And the sun is setting on a on a nice productive day. I've been doing some off-camera stuff just to improve our mind situation. Let's just head down there. Uh, I should probably repair this pick, but uh, it's fine for the moment. So as you can see, this temporary shaft that I started digging at the end of last episode is done. And down here, if we're heading bumping my head on every single block all the way down, I really should actually get rid of those blocks it just takes longer to actually mine them out you'll see i've got some stone here actually i don't need this oops uh don't need this or this or in fact these uh these in fact i do want there actually yeah i do uh behind these is a no i should probably put these back somewhere let's, put, let's just put them back there here just just to emphasize that i don't actually need them i have to move that one we go so behind here is a stockpile and in that stockpile is our tailings now because i've got this bloomery here this is what we can build and we build it from the kiln which is back up the base uh, this will take iron ore and for every iron ore no matter what efficiency you have it's always going to produce some tailings uh two i think for every iron ingot actually, that you make so in here you can see i've got a number of jobs going i've got copper at the moment which is running some more copper some iron ingots and then an anvil and an anvil will let us then create iron tools again i'm using stone tools because it's cheaper and because i don't have much iron so they, they are useful but as you'll see here we're getting iron and copper ingots which you can use for research into other things which we will be doing and here's our stockpile now the the tailings only stack in fives which is going to be a little bit of a problem because as you can see that that is almost full well three quarters full without all that many uh, pieces of iron in turn the stockpile behind here is is well it's one it's behind here to keep the ground pollution down if i if i just go onto the map and go onto the ground pollution layer hopefully it isn't terrible uh, it may not even show up because uh, i've encapsulated this quite well yeah see no ground pollution showing it will be a different color if it was so we are down down here about 15 blocks down i guess from the first rock layer uh from the first solid rock layer by the way you don't want to count stuff like this that's like um whoops let's bring up the torch that's like a broken rock if there's a broken rock layer don't count that start from the one below that and bring it in here and you will see you know your um your uh, nice nice stockpile not pollute the ground so we've got that filling up which means for each stockpile we can only produce us a certain number of ingots in turn that means i may need to put more stockpiles in or we need to get to the next thing the blast furnace as quickly as possible to try and stop ourselves from getting tailings or at least reduce the amount of tailings that we get because uh yeah digging out five by five by five 125 blocks uh, is it 125 yeah 125 blocks each one of those is four individual pieces so that's already up to 500 pieces and you can only carry um 20 of those at a time yeah so it does take quite a while to get those up these stairs and then back into a cart even though i've got a larger wood cart so yes we will uh, in fact, let me take those iron ingots with me because we may well need them for research. Let's just grab those and the copper ones as well. And in fact, no, I can't take them all because they're ludicrously heavy. <laughs> um, that, that's expanding my entire carry weight. Uh, do I have enough points to get more carry weight? It's in survivalist. Yes, I can actually spend some more on that. That gives me a little bit more, but not a terrible amount. Let me see how many more that gave me. For 15 skill points, I got the ability to carry how many more ingots? Let's grab this. One. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and of course, I haven't built the new larger backpack yet, so that should give me some more carry weight as well. And let's head back to the base. Uh, so I've got nine ingots. Can I actually spend that on anything? Or is it going to, uh, is it going to give me problems? Let's go and have a look at our research table and see what we can build next or at least what we need to get to for a um a foundry building perhaps somewhere around as opposed to our uh well it's a very nice how house but we don't necessarily want a foundry in it uh where did i put my uh oh it's over here there we go research table 
Okay, so what needs iron ingots? Advanced smelting needs iron ingots. And I'm guessing that's the one that gets me the um, the blast furnace. 120 coal, 36 iron, and lots and lots of bricks. Okay, is there anything else that needs it? Cooking, so we can improve our cooking with nine iron ingots, which is what I've got, but we're limited on them, so I don't want to spend on stuff that we don't need just yet. Lumber and mechanics both need iron ingots, so there's plenty there for us to do. Uh, I think I'm going to try and concentrate on advanced smelting to try and uh, stop producing these tailings. And just to show you in the kiln, I'm actually producing bricks at a rate of knots, however many I can. And that, of course, will come from, you know, your mining activity. I've got a couple of uh, pots for planting stuff into. Hopefully they're going to just improve the skill rate for the house. So that's all well and good. We've got uh, two different manufacturing plants going. Uh, let's see what we need to do next. I think I need to do go make more of those iron ingots more than anything else, and then start off that research project for advanced smelting. And good news, we don't actually need the advanced smelting. <laughs> Did quickly check, that is more for steel stuff. We can actually make the blast furnace now, uh, but we do need an anvil first, which is what is currently being made, or at least it's in the queue to be made down at the bloomery. So once that finishes, we'll be able to get an anvil. That will give me lots of other tools, but it will also give me the ability to make a blast furnace. And I think that takes less. Um, can I see what the current recipe is? It's in smelting. Here, here, what's a blast furnace? Requires six and a half bricks, six and a half iron ingots. So that's much, much better for me. But we do actually then need to deal with the air pollution somehow. Okay, so our anvil's done. And um, yeah, an entire anvil, we seem to be just fine in having that in a uh, <laughs> in my inventory without much carry weight. Otherwise, uh, yeah but I can't carry more than nine iron ingots. So let's just see if we can get this in this room. I suppose we can around here. Yeah. Well, is that actually going to let us? No, we're going to need tier two materials for this, it looks like. So we're going to need a tier two building of some kind. So yeah, brick, glass, uh, uh, yeah, brick, glass and lumber or better. So how many bricks do I have? Uh, that's been building up. We can probably build a small building for that. And we might want to put it maybe out here or something along those lines. I mean, it does spoil the viewer, I guess. So, hmm. Or maybe on this platform. I haven't quite decided yet, but I think I'll put something down. I'll build something up anyway and see if we can get something going. Uh, we can't use stone, unfortunately. We've got to use brick. All right. Foundry it is then. Okay, this is pretty much the simplest possible building I can make that will take an anvil. And um, we've got in here, once it loads, there we go, status. 18 out of 18 tiers of materials, that's fine. And 29 out of, uh, 25 out of 29 are used. So this is the smallest room you can put an anvil in. Um, I've run out of stone. <laughs> Otherwise, though, we can make recipes in here. And which, of course, the main one is the blast furnace. So I'm going to order that up. And that's going to take a whole hour. Wow. Um, hmm, can I get that any cheaper? Let's just cancel that job. And I've got 60 skill points now, so what's the, is it this one? Blast furnace recipe, yes, decreases the cost. And this is the speed. Okay, so if we just upgrade that three times, four times? Mm. Okay, let's just go max level and maybe efficiency as well as that's going to take iron and let's just upgrade that twice and let's see what the recipe is like now. Blast furnace only takes four iron ingots and four clay bricks and it will take 12 minutes, which is much more manageable as is of course the number of bricks. Um, let's just grab, can I grab you? Can I grab enough of these um, in my backpack? And then we'll add them to this recipe or something along those lines. Can I actually add them in here? Well, let's just cancel the project and hit it again. It should just pull them out of my inventory. Yes, it does. Okay, because it's not a carry good, so I don't want to be right clicking too easily. 
and we just put that back in there for now okay so our blast furnace is on the build and we're gonna need to put some put it somewhere we could just extend this building that's easy enough but wherever i put it is going to create air pollution i don't think i mean do let me know in the comments if you know a difference and i really would like to know if they can do something like we do with the tailings uh that we have you know downstairs in the mine with air pollution is there a way to contain it um i could put it in a big big underground chamber <laughs> whether that would choke me out i don't know but um yeah we'll see uh yeah so put your ideas then in the comments we can always move it from wherever we put it if we don't deal with it anywhere it's going to start producing air pollution as long as it's on as will the stove as will a couple of other blocks stoves for kitchen but uh, kitchen yeah kitchen cooking so yeah we do have to if not manage the air pollution, then perhaps do things in batches, make a big batch of iron and then shut it down. And it, the air pollution will go away after a few hours or so, something like that. Give me your thoughts below. Okay, and we now have one blast furnace. Looks pretty cool. We're probably going to need to attach a pipe up there, though, I think, to get that to work properly. Is this the right way around? Is there... <laughs> it's the wrong way around. Hmm... There we go. Let's get this the right way around. Uh, rotate that twice. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say there? Can't open that door. <laughs> Can I get this right? Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. So we do need to put an iron pipe on top, which is something we need to look at. But if we go in here, output tank isn't full. What power does it require? It just requires coal is probably what we're going to use uh storage for the fuel supply we can probably drag some coal in and that will should work uh and we've got some iron so we can smelt iron that just takes iron ore and doesn't produce tailings oh so good so then we can then make other sort of things later on for now though to be able to generate more iron is probably the best thing for this and then I guess we're going to also have to look at iron pipe. If it's available in here. Yes, it is. Only takes one iron ingot per iron pipe. So let's maybe make a couple and get it up into the air somehow. Um, this may well produce air pollution, unfortunately, but there's not a great deal I can do about it. Instead, I'm probably just going to, um, you know, make, make a little bit and hopefully it'll fade away. And I'll see how fast it takes to fade away. Um, yeah, inside we need iron pipe, don't we? So let's just make some of you. So three, let's say, for now. And once that's finished, I'll attach it to the top up there. And we might have a more complicated setup once we have a stove going and maybe they'll all go into one pipe or something along those lines. I think I may also try taking it downstairs into the mine and, you know, excavating a little bit and seeing if I can actually put it underground and if we can stop the air pollution that way. Here we go, we can place it down and we get a essentially a chimney stack. Let's, uh, can we put it up there? Yep, yeah. okay. I'm not sure the build height limit for the world is. I wonder if we could just have the pipes going up to the build height and then it wouldn't spread. Uh, maybe not, but uh, let's see if we can get it started. Let's just make 10 iron, shall we? Or maybe, maybe 16 iron. Yeah, let's order that up. Okay, and then I can press M. And we see the air pollution spread. We can show it in world. So as this gets going, there it goes. There's the smog or the pollution, whatever you actually want to call it. And it's not showing anything yet, but I get the feeling that if that continues, it will actually start showing up so i'm going to keep watching this see how well it actually spreads or how little it spreads if that uh, is something we can get rid of okay and here we are after the 16 iron ingots have been made they didn't this didn't show up at all until i added more coal into its fuel supply so whether that forced some kind of chunk block update or something like that to make this show it may not be real time that you actually see pollution, but now you see obviously the effect of pollution just purely from this one batch. Now that should fade over time, so I'm going to keep checking it. And, uh, you know, we don't obviously want this to spread too much further. 
it's kind of sort of constrained within our stockpiles, our road at the moment, and mostly away from any plants. Yeah, sort of. Mm, it's not great here, but um, yeah, it'll do for the moment, and we'll see how well that actually um, reduces over time. So in here, if I just take that back off again so we don't have that to overlay. There we go. So there's a bunch of other things we can make. This has now made 16 iron ingots, as we can see there. I can probably bring in the others from inside the house or move them backwards and forwards. Uh, we are going to want a stove at some point, but we're going to need uh, the cooking for that one. It's going to need, again, brick materials and being it's quite a large volume. So we're going to have to build a kitchen or something along those lines or upgrade our main house and all kinds of other bits and pieces. Um, that's good. Cement kiln is the other thing that will also produce smog. So again, you've got to deal with the smog for that one. Of course, that enables concrete, uh, but it requires some gearboxes and some pistons. So we've got to get that. But just as importantly, we can make new iron tools and we've got most of those. I think uh, the hose is probably the only one that is only wooden at the moment. And I think the shovel. So yeah, uh, we can repair now with iron. So that should be fine. Mints and treasuries, we don't need so much in single player, but if you want to play those in multiplayer, that will help. And the rest is going to need um, some more stuff. For example, the sawmill that lets us make lumber, one of the sort of things like the kitchen area, uh, that's going to require some more iron ingots, unfortunately, and lumber woodworking. Probably will reduce this recipe cost by going efficiency. And then we've got the even better steel tools, but uh, steel something we've got to make in again this this uh blast furnace i think yeah it needs alloy smelting too and takes four iron ingots now it doesn't take coal but coal's being used as a power source so I'll, you know i'll let it go for that one so alloy smelting too um let's have a look in smith um is this alloy smelting metal working basic smelting is it going to be an advanced it's probably going to be an advanced isn't it yeah alloy smelting so for that, we're going to need the iron ingots for the research. Let's pop up through here. We may as well have a look. Uh, advanced smelting. We've got half of the iron ingots-ish. We've got 21 so far, including the stuff that's out there. So I could look into that. Uh, we've got enough coal, looks like. And we've got enough of that. So I guess I'm going to have to put another batch of iron on, uh, on smelt. Okay, so I started the uh, the research project off for advanced smelting to get us to steel. Uh, that also lets us get a couple of other things, I think, as well. Uh, Smith, advanced smelting, what are the recipes like? Steel, yes, that's fine. Um, gears and rivets, that's fine. But we also then get even better tools. So a modern axe, a modern pickaxe, steel axe, etc. So hopefully more damage and, um, you know, longer lasting. And all the way down at there at the bottom, bottom, we've got hammers, but that is fine. What's under this one? Okay, so we've got the rolling mill in here as well. So advanced smelting, well worth going. I think what I'm also going to look at is in engineer, we have mechanics. And in mechanics, we have recipes for power carts. Going to be very useful. And uh, machine shop, gears, coppers, copper wiring, pistons, etc. Combustion engines, lots of other stuff that we can do, including all the way down at level four now, wind turbines. Interesting. Uh, which is probably not great from the windmill. And the windmill, we, course, we can craft with steel, I think, and that would be a useful addition to maybe the side of our house or something, just to give this a mechanical power, just like that one has mechanical power from a water mill. We can use that with a sawmill. But we may well just extend that building down there for the sawmill. We can uh, we can get that going to make lumber. I think that's what's what's useful. So let's put uh, that other project on build. Uh, where are you? Uh, mechanics. So I needed the copper ingots for that and a couple of water wheels. And uh, that needs the carpentry table. Uh, however, we can probably do the lumber skill book first just because I've got the materials at least, and then I'll make the water wheel, water wheels. Uh, where did those hewn logs go? I'm not sure I put hewn logs on build. Ah, there they are. So let's just grab some of those. That should get used up by the research table. That's just out of, uh, just 
too far out of the way. There it is. So that can get going. And we also want mechanics as well. So I'm going to need eight more ingots and I'm going to need a couple of water wheels. The water wheels, are they something that's cheap? Ish. I'm going to need 40. Uh, can I get any more efficient carpentry out of this? Carpentry. That's all max level. Wood construction. I think it's all max level, you know, which probably means I can't get more efficient than that, which means I have to go and chop down another tree or two, but that's not really too much of a big deal, given that that's also going to take a while. <laughs> that's going to be half an hour, so I will leave those running while I'm uh, going on further. I think, however, that's going to be a short episode for today, because a lot of this stuff now is going to need time to actually get going. I think I've got the iron, at least. Yeah, I did put another eight on build. And uh, we'll use that for that next research project, which is all good. Uh, let's just pop it up here. There we go. And uh, yeah, was that everything that we can put on research if we put more iron into it? Mechanics, we definitely want, we got the eight iron for. Cooking, we could do. We do need to make campfire roast for that. That's not terribly hard to make though. And wheat porridge is also not hard to make. So I will just just show that before I finish. Uh, let's just quickly head off to our butchery table. Uh, have I got enough raw meat to actually do this? Hopefully I do. What's it like the storage like? Uh, storage. We've got a couple of hares, an elk and a bison, so we should have enough. OK, so for the cooking skill, but we need four campfire roasts. So we need to make raw roasts for those. Uh, I don't tend to use these for eating or anything, but they just uh, are good for the research item at least. So this is mostly the way through processing. So if you make four raw roasts, it's going to take 29 out of our 31 meat so far, but we will get some scrap meat back. So let's order those as well. They'll take two minutes each. Once they're done, I'm going to put them and do this off camera, of course. I'll put them on uh, essentially the campfire to make the cooked roast, or the campfire roast, and then we'll be able to start the cooking skill book. Okay, and that in turn will let us start making other stuff in here. So cooking, uh, what recipes do we get? So it's very salads. Who wants salads? <laughs> um, various different other stuff like that. What's, what else have we got in here? Anything good? Mm, mostly prerequisite because I want the one thing after, I think. And is it advanced cooking? Um, huckleberry extract is certainly going to be useful later on, so it's definitely worthwhile getting advanced cooking. But probably baking is the next one after that. Yes, it is. So huckleberry pie is one of the things I want to get to. That needs flour, huckleberries and tallow. And of course, flour we need to get more efficiently from our, well, our wheat farm, which is doing OK. It's got a few hours to go. If we just pop down here. And you'll see it looks grown, but it's not quite. If we just use our soil sampler on one of them, you'll see it's got four hours left. And um, yeah, even though in real life wheat is absolutely fine with being next to each other, it seems it's saying it's overcrowded with this. So we may have to leave a little bit more space the next time we replant. And our beets are again still working fine. We've got more seeds for these now, so we can actually uh, do get that done. But again, those are going to be 6.4 hours to maximum. So while that is happening, I want to increase my skills to make sure I get as much from harvesting and gathering as possible. Like, say, a bison <laughs> that's coming to visit. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, uh, bison's dodging. <laughs> there you go. Some damage. Dodge like crazy, or they're rather they're a little bit unpredictable. There we go. Another one. I think it's five still. I need to get more damage on my bow. Concentrate. Oh, still missed. <laughs> I'm going to chase down this bison. Is it stopped now? It's stopped. I've run out of arrows. Really? I've run out of arrows? Oh, right. <laughs> 
Anyway, I shall hunt that one off camera as well. So I think we've got enough projects to be going on with that I'll have to wait between the episodes various different constructions and research that is going to take time. So I thought that this is a good point to leave it here. And I can also then just quickly check out how well this pollution, uh, that's actually sort of spread out a little bit more. Yes, that's definitely more spread out. It's out to here now, but the central area isn't quite as um, bright as it was. So it's less polluted in the center. So maybe that will spread out and eventually you know, it will uh, deplete over time to, to the original colour. So I'll leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to like, subscribe and share as normal. And uh, please do let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions. Other than that, as always, thanks for watching.